This morning, officials are trying to figure out what caused a military plane to crash in Mississippi, killing 16 people. CBS News correspondent Hannah Daniels is live in New York with more details on this deadly crash. So, Hannah, what's the latest? Good morning, guys. Well, officials say the U.S. military plane used for refueling crashed, prompting an urgent rescue effort in one of the most rural regions of the South. We're told bodies were found about a mile from the crash site. Now, the Marine Corps says it operated the plane, but hasn't said where the flight began or just where it was going. A military plane crashed in rural Mississippi Monday afternoon, killing at least 16 people on board, according to the LaFleur County Emergency Management Chief. Witnesses say the Marine Corps refueling tanker was seen spiraling towards the ground into a soybean field about 85 miles north of Jackson. Crackling noise. Is it something in it? It was all over, but it was loud. It's just scary. It's just scary because after I've seen all the black smoke, it's just some, you know, it's horrifying. All a Marine Corps spokesperson would say so far is that the KC-130, quote, experienced a mishap. The flames burned for hours. Witnesses say so hot that at one point firefighters had to pull back. They spraying that foam on it. Every time they stop, it lights back up. Local authorities are warning residents to stay away. We don't want nobody out there. You have fuel everywhere, so we don't want anybody without responders in the area. The local fire chief says debris from the crash is being found within a five-mile radius. And while the investigation is still in the preliminary stages, authorities don't believe foul play was to blame for the crash. There was a press conference scheduled for last night. It was canceled. It is now scheduled for later this morning. Jim and Rahel. All right, Hannah, thank you. Live for us in New York.